Welcome to another episode of Do It The Smart Way. Thank you for joining me. Today, we're going to show you how to replace the lube oil. When you enter the engine room, please don't forget to put on your personal protective equipment and be sure to follow all safety instructions in your operating manual. The TPEM control will guide us through the lube oil replacement. So now, let's go to the control. In the TPEM system, we first need to check the relevant parameters. As you can see, the manual mode is active and we need to check the automatic refill parameters. And as we see, both of them are active. So we are ready to start the lube oil replacement under maintenance. We press the start button to launch the guided lube oil replacement. The first step is to check the valve position. And that's what we're going to do now. Okay, first we want to draw the oil from our expanded oil pan. For this, we change the valve position. Here we can see the flow direction on the ball valve. We also change the position of the lower valve in order to extract the oil into the waste oil tank here. Right now, we don't have any waste oil tank, but normally it is connected down here. Okay, that was step one. Now, let's continue with step two. We want to pump out the oil. For this purpose, we switch on the pre-lubrication pump and wait for the specified time until all the oil has been pumped out. In our case, this takes 20 minutes. However, the time varies depending on the engine installed. This step is also finished. The oil has been pumped out. Next, let's pump the oil out of the oil pan. Here, we automatically jump to point 3. Next, let's drain the oil from our lube oil pan. For this, we change the valve position in such a way that the oil flows in the direction of our waste oil tank. Again, we need to change the valve position so that the lube oil pan is connected to the waste oil tank. Done. Now we can pump the oil out of the lube oil pan by switching on the pump here. The green symbol indicates that the pump is running. Here too, it is possible to switch off the pump manually or to reset the counter manually. Again, we need to wait for the specified time. The process is confirmed with a green dot. Now that the lube oil has been pumped out of the oil pan and the expanded oil tank, we're ready to replace the oil filter. Having fully pumped out the lube oil, we can now replace the lube oil filter. For this, the lube oil filter needs to be unfastened. If this is not possible by hand, feel free to use a lube oil filter wrench. Once the filter is unfastened, be careful as some oil might come out. If you wish, you can put something underneath. In our case, however, the engine is dry. The lube oil filter has been removed. Before we install the new filter, the seal surface up in the housing needs to be cleaned. And then some lube oil needs to be applied to the seal surface of the new filter. We distribute it evenly. And then screw the filter back in. When the filter touches the seal surface up in the housing, we can securely tighten it by hand. This is sufficient to keep the filter in place. The lube oil filter has been replaced. The new one has been installed and we can change our valve positions for filling the lube oil. To do so, we change the direction of flow in such a way that the oil flows from the oil pan into the pump below, toward the oil filter. The fresh oil tank is located on the A side of the engine. 
You can top up the fresh oil using the standard inlet or the threaded inlet. To refill the lube oil, we switch on the refill function here in our TPEM. As soon as the oil reaches the required level, the pump will automatically switch off. So, fresh oil has been topped up. Now we need to pre-lubricate the engine for 20 minutes in order to circulate all the oil once. For this purpose, we switch on the pre-lubrication pump and wait for the specified time. The lube oil replacement is finished and the engine is running smoothly. So much for today. I'm looking forward to the next episode of Do It The Smart Way.